Hello, my name is Brooke and I'm an alcoholic. Welcome back to my series of Old Testament 12 step recovery. Today we're going to talk about the sixth step with inspiration from the book of Genesis. This is episode 58 on the YouTube channel. Genesis 25:20 reads, Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean, from Padan Aram, sister of Laban, the Aramean, as a wife for himself. So let's talk about what's happening in the story, and then we'll talk about what it means. So just to catch you up, and this feels like I used to work in television a long time ago. We had a thing called the Saga Cell, where like when you did a mini series, you'd say, you know, previously seen on this series, um, let's catch you up in the story with the Saga Cell. So previously in the book of Genesis, we had Abraham. Abraham was the first monotheist. He was the first man to recognize that there was only one God in the world, not multiple idolatrous gods as were worshipped at the time and are still worshipped today. Abraham and his wife Sarah had a son named Isaac. Isaac uh, was 40 years old when he got married, and he didn't marry just anybody. He actually married someone who was related to his mother. Uh, Rebecca was his mother's niece, which is kind of interesting um, if you think about it. But the what's going on here is that... It, this is not just a, a, you know like a wedding announcement. It's it's a discussion of Rebecca's lineage. So Rebecca, who was the mother of Jacob, who was the you know the the patriarch of the twelve tribes of Israel, and really she was really the mother of the entire Judeo Christian tradition. She's a very significant person in the history of. Of, uh, of religion, of, of Judaism and Christianity. So she's not just anybody. So her, her background is important. And the reason, and what's interesting here is, so she's the sister of Laban, who, of the Aramean, an Aramite. These are people who spoke Aramaic. It's a region of the Middle East, sort of where Iraq is today. These Laban was a notorious bad guy. He was an idolater. He was a swindler. He was a dishonest man. So how is it that his sister, Rebecca, was one of the most righteous women who ever lived? It's a question. And so we don't really know. But like somehow God had a plan for Rebecca that was different from God's plan for her brother and or Rebecca did more work on herself than Laban. She grew up in an atmosphere of uh, morally degenerate people, but she took a different path in life. She did different work on herself, potentially. And there's something we can learn from that for recovery. So we're going to try and relate this to the sixth step. And the sixth step of Alcoholics Anonymous is that we were entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Now, what are these defects of character? Those refer to our fourth and fifth step. The fourth step you is a writing process. You write down your defects of character, things that, about your life, experiences you've had, decisions you've made, actions you've taken that have um, affected your your sobriety and your serenity. You know, things that you are want to change about yourself to become a healthy, sober person. In the fifth step, you tell them to another person, perhaps your sponsor. And then the sixth step, and I feel like I'm saying this all the time, like the sixth step is very important. They're all very important, but they're all really essential to getting on a good program because the sixth step is, it's one thing to say, okay, I have these problems. I have these defects of character. I've made mistakes. Then you have to be ready to have God remove them from you. If you reach the fifth step and you're like, okay, I've told everybody, I've told my sponsor what's wrong with me. And you're like, okay, and that's it. That's what's wrong with me. Thank you. Goodbye. That's not going to work. If you want to stay sober, you have to work. This is about changing yourself. I mean, the first fifth step, first five steps are about identifying what's wrong with you. The sixth step begins a process of change. 
And as you may know from life and in recovery, change is not easy. It's not an easy thing to change yourself. And in fact, what the steps recognize, and this is the part of the genius of AA, is that you really can't change yourself. I mean, it, you, know, you have to do it, but in a way you can't do it without God's help. God can help you remove these defects of character. So that's the sixth step. So what we have in this story here, so think about here, here's, I'm, and this is me, I'm just imagining this. Rebecca kind of falls into this category. So here's Rebecca. She's grown up in this family where people lie, cheat and steal and worship idols. And somehow she makes a decision that she's going to be different. She's going to pray to one God, the true God. She's going to be the best person she can be. And in the process, she's going to become one of the most important women in the history of the world. A woman who is entrusted with raising a son who will become the patriarch of, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel and all of that that came later. She was preparing for a very important job and she needed God's help to do it. And so when we connecting it to recovery and the sixth step even further, you know, let's think about our families of origin. Like like Rebecca, we may have had a family of origin that was morally different from our own life today. Now, this is not true for me, just, just for the record. I have a wonderful family of origin. You know, we had problems like any other family, but I was raised by people who were morally and ethically uh, sound, and, and I think I inherited a, a pretty good sense of values from them. But I know from working with people in the program that the family of origin can be a deep, deeply problematic situation, people brought up with abuse or other or alcohol, drug problems, um, and left them in a very bad condition and really, uh, you know, unfortunately laid the groundwork for life of uh, addiction and acting out. So when you work the sixth step, you have to think about becoming ready to have God remove defects of character you picked up, maybe from your family of origin or other people who influenced you when you were drinking and using. You know, we hear in the program a lot about you know, peer groups and, you know, the fraternity brothers or your friends from the Marine Corps or your sorority sisters or your friends from work or all these people who maybe even with good intentions have led you on a path towards alcoholism or drug addiction. And those, their influence have caused you to have defects of character in the sixth step. If you're ready to take the sixth step, and it's a step that may take some time and some repetition are you ready to have God take those away from you? Turn those over to God. So maybe for today, think about that. Think about how you are also God's child, like Rebecca. Does the belief change your view of your family of origin? Does that help you get ready to work the sixth step? So those are some thoughts for today. And if I can just engage in my last minute plug, as I always do, this step and other like it are available in the Old Testament. 12-step workbook available at the link below or at oldtestamentsobriety.com. Love to have you become part of it, so maybe check it out. And thanks for being with us today.